Good day, everybody, on this Friday for a pre-long weekend, Victoria long weekend. I like it. Three days off, which I'll probably work uh, tomorrow. There's uh, going to a Caribbean barbecue tomorrow. Like that. It's my um, sister-in-law's having a birthday, so... The weather's nice, so we're going to have a barbecue. Of course, they're all Caribbean, so it's Caribbean barbecue. Like it. Like it, like it, like it. Good food. Uh, so what have I done so far today? As you see, I got empty um, signed um, proof of deliveries. I did um, delivery on the South Shore down in uh, Brossard to a um, fitness place. Uh, so it was all like medicine balls and medicine balls. Why do they call it a medicine ball? Never figure that out. But it's all like weight stuff. Heavy. Very heavy. God. Got my workout. Mostly in the legs. But anyway. Now I'm at a place where I normally, where you see me drop a container. Inside dock, I unhook and they close the doors behind me. Uh, we've uh, made several videos here. Uh, I'm here now. I delivered six kids. So uh, I'm now empty. So I'm going to head back to the warehouse. And uh, the boss mentioned that I'm done. Heat up my lunch and then see what's next after lunch. Um... I didn't film a video yesterday because not really didn't do much. Well, I did cans, but I um, started late and just scrambling because my had mechanical difficulties yesterday. I think, um, well, my truck didn't start. Same thing as like I put a new battery in it. It's, well, you know, so I'm thinking, well, it can't be the battery. It's freaking two weeks old. What can happen? Could be my alternator that's going. I'm going to try to do an alternator test. I'm going to take the battery cable off when it's running and see if it sputters and dies. Then it's running off the battery, which I don't think it is. Um, Wednesday night, I got home really late, like about midnight, and just tired out of my head. And I could turn my key and take the key out without it um, being on off. So, it's like an old Chevy. Do you remember when Chevy's had two keys? One for the door, one for the ignition? I remember those. Um, you could take the key out because my ignition is worn out. So I think what happened is in my tiredness, just got in driveway, turned it off, and didn't check to make sure it was actually on off. It was probably on accessories. And it was on accessories all night. Or on on all night. And it drained the battery. That's what I think I did. Because uh, I always check it, but I was just so tired. I just, that's it. I'm going. Anyway, so what we're doing now is I'm, like I said, I'm going to send a text to the boss telling him I'm empty. Uh, probably either more deliveries or maybe some cans. Don't know. You'll have to keep watching to find out. So, stand by. This exit here is always lined up. And there's always somebody doing something freaking stupid so bad that the SQ or the provincial police has actually started hiding behind that little sign there that like um, where the exit is and ticketing people for butting in the line and stuff like that because there's always at least once a week there's some sort of accident there there's always somebody doing something stupid because they all want to go up on the 15 northbound anyway we're on the Laval 440 auto route right now, and we're still heading back to the warehouse. So stand by. Actually, I did find out what I was doing. I gotta go to CP. I gotta pick up a can there. But first, it's to Ultra. Then to CP. And I think that might be it. But that is definitely possible to change. So anyway, stand by. Here we are at Ultra to get rid of this Costco container. Where's my, oh, it's over there. My safety vest. So, um, the plan right now is um, 
where you get this can off, go back to our house, drop the septic can, boot to uh, a Nexus where we used to get our chassis from, pick up an empty, and then go to CP because um, the, the CP return yard closes at 6 and he's not too sure the guys can get it empty before then. He's not too sure. So uh, if we don't get it off um, today, we're stuck with that can until Tuesday. So we're going to go uh, get another can, uh, sorry, get another chassis. We'll pick that can up just in case uh, they don't get it done before 6 o'clock. So uh, while we're waiting, now would be a good time to do... That's right! Lingo and terminology I didn't forget today. I remembered. Alright. So the one I thought I would do, and the last one was really hard. No one got it. No one even close. Um, this one's going to be substantially easier. A lot easier. And um, here we go. So, what is motion lotion? What is motion lotion? And I don't mean KY jelly. Get your head out of the gutter, you. And you. What is motion lotion? And it ain't a personal lubricant. It's not KY jelly. So, um, put your answers down in the comment. In the comment part. And, um, we'll see who gets it. This, this, this one's easy. Everyone should get this one. So, we're waiting at Ultra. Stand by. Whoa! Here at an Nexus picking up a chassis and uh, the airport's just very, very close from here. Just saw two CF-18 Hornets just come up over these trees here and take off. You never know what you're going to see. Man, are they loud! Anyway, we're here to pick up a chassis. Probably one that's a piece of crap. Because a Nexus chassis normally tend to be pieces of crap. Anyway, stand by as soon as hooked on. We'll take a look at see see what they give us. Well, it doesn't look too bad. See if I can find a manufacturer. Oh, here's what I was looking for. Manufacturer's plate. See when this thing was made. Looks like it was made in... March 1987. Not the oldest one we got from here, but definitely old. 1987. Yep. Not in too, too bad shape. The wiring looks like it's a freaking wrap nest. Hey, look at this here. Look at that wrap nest. Thing came over on the freaking arc. <laughs> Anyway, we're heading to CP now. We're hooked up, aired up. Ready to I go. picked up one chassis here. I needed a 20 foot. So we came here. We got a 20 foot tandem. And I like looking for the manufacturer's tag to see exactly how old these things are. This can that I picked up. Sorry, I keep saying can, but I mean chassis was manufactured 1976 yep I was all a tender age of three when it was manufactured 76 wow and it's still on the road well why not as long as you maintain and take care of it I don't see why not. Anyhow. Anyway, off the CN. Not CN. CP. Why don't we show up the CN now, right? Off the CP. Have to go past the Tim Hortons on the way there. Shocks, eh? Hate it when that happens. Anyway, CFCP. Alright. So we're here at CP now. We're pretty close to the end gate, which is right there. On the way here, I um, went past Cree. 
I saw my friend Jimmy, but he didn't see me because I was on the service road and he was walking out from his truck, going inside the building. And he's wearing uh, a bright fluorescent orange safety vest. So I get to Tim Horton. I sent him a text message. So that's a mighty sexy safety vest you have. He's probably like, where the hell are you? Because he said that to me. Where are you, bitch? But I'm over at Tim Hortons. I just left going to CEP. Have a good weekend. <laughs> I've known Jimmy for years. So, yeah. Um, that's one thing I like about working here in the city. You get to see a lot of the same people over and over again over, over the years. It's like I know a lot of people that work in the city. A lot. And you won't see him for a while, and then you see him, he's like, hey, how's it going, blah, blah, you still got you guys busy over there, what you guys up to, blah, blah, blah. But I know Jimmy from when I worked at Sharoot, and he's not with Sharoot anymore, like I said before, he's with Cree now. Uh, he just quit, and I saw him a, about a month and a half ago, I was in my Durango, going down Donaghani, and I saw his truck, like, oh, there's Jimmy. He's like, well, wait a minute, it has a, it has a different name on the door. So I sent him a text, when did you quit? It's like, oh, long story, I'll tell you when I see you. So I'm interesting to know what happened. It's like a soap opera. Anyway, we're waiting for a can. Stand by. Uh, black smoke. Oh, well, we're heading for the exit now. I'm going to find out in a second. Is something burning, or is it coming from a... Oh, I wonder where that's coming from. That's interesting. I wonder where that's coming from. I have an idea. Because Rolls Royce is over there. It's probably nothing serious. It's probably coming from Rolls Royce. That is not Rolls Royce, because Rolls Royce is not over there. Rolls Royce is over here. Farther down that way. That, I have no idea what that is now. I have no idea what that is. Something's burning. Maybe someone left their toast in the toaster for too long. What is that? I gotta go check that out. Anyway, first I gotta go back to the warehouse, which means we're turning here. Alright, stand by. So I have just put GPS tracking stickers on all our chassis. I recommend it against it because uh, how do they look for them? And if they find them, uh, well, what else do you do then? All our equipment now has GPS tracked. But, uh, I said, don't put a sticker on it because they're going to look for it and throw it in the dumpster if they find it. So I didn't think that was a very, very good idea advertising that there's your stuff has a GPS on it, but no, I kind of understand why he's so paranoid. Um, he does want his stuff stolen, and if it's more of a deterrent, then um, are they going to waste the time to try and um, look for it or um, disconnect it if they can find it? I tell you the truth, um, they went over to the shop and they all had GPS. Where are they? I have no idea. I don't know where they are. I really don't. Anyway, so um, that's going to be it for the day, and um, there's more containers tomorrow, and uh, there's more on Sunday, and I'm doing a delivery of a 20-foot up in Mirabelle, um, hauling Chinese dirt, believe it or not, <laughs> Chinese dirt. So anyway, thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and see you later.